to be showing you how to do your very own DIY nail polish rack and um, this is what I have my nail polish just in right now you can use it for makeup or anything you like and um, I got this idea from T-H-E-L-C-E-E-I-N-G and she just did it differently so that's what I'm going to do it so I'm not copying her I'm just trying to modify it and go check out her original video called DIY nail polish rack so what I just did is right now I just take out the extras that were apart so that it made a nice box shape. I taped it up again like it was new, like I never opened it. And then I cut off the side. And then um, I made it into a fan. So what I just did, if you guys did, here, hold on. Okay is I made it like this. I just taped it up like it was new again. And then take the top off and make it into a fan like you know these ones. Okay, so that's what you're going to need to do first step. And if you make a mistake, do not redo the fan or else it'll end up like this. And then it's like a total fail. So don't do that. Guys, just don't do that. Okay. So now you're going to put in, I'm going to find a good spot to where you want your fan to go in. And if you want two layers, then you can definitely go like, use this one. You can just put it here. So it can be, you just want to show a little bit of the top wash, like one, two. Or you can move back a little bit so the bottom part is also a layer. If you want to show it, then you can like absolutely cut this part off if you like, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just, so I like it here, about there, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape this. So, and it's really actually quite sturdy. She said in the video, if you spray paint it, it'll become sturdier. But what I did, and my other one, um... I put like, I just sharpened the pencils to the right amount of size and just put it underneath if you guys are too scared that it won't, like. And see how it's kind of like uneven there? It's like coming apart. So you can just tape it closer together and that will like work. Or you can glue it. I'm just like, you can use glue tape, super glue, whatever you guys prefer. And so now that it's taped, I just taped little pieces two times on both sides I'm going to take the bottom and I'm going to push it down and if it was already down I'm going to take that as well I'm going to take about four pieces like this so that's one. Two. Maybe three. Because I'm just trying to make this a really quick video. Three. And you can tape the back as well. But I'm not going to do that because you guys are probably going to get super extremely bored. So for you guys' sake, I won't do that. And so like you can just like tape like down there as well. So now that you take the bottom part, you're going to notice where this ends. And that's about there for mine. And I'm going to cut a slip on the side here and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side as well okay and then you're going to cut on the back a little bit it'll just help you it's going to be easier but don't cut all the way. Unless you're going to have to retape it. 
we're taking it, and then you're going to flip it up, and you're going to take these pieces, and you're going to put it in the inside. So it should, it's approximately put them on the inside or the outside, whatever you guys prefer, like, it's really up to you guys. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these together. I just want both sides to be the same. And then I'm going to tape it on the back once. And it'll be sturdy and yeah, because like this will definitely be sturdy because it'll be on top of the the the, the, the thing. So that's definitely sturdy right there. And then over here, it is sturdy down here as well because it's taped to the side. So now that we've taped them evenly on both sides, it doesn't have to be evenly, but like as long as it holds up, um, you're going to tape it. Or glue. I keep saying or glue. Or if you're using glue or tape, I guess. I know. Because you wouldn't. Glue is the glue fast honey in this tape. Just if I get a lot of comments saying, Can you use glue? I'm gonna be like, Oh my god. So, I don't know why it's like, Oh. And how I did it uneven on this side. That's totally okay. Cut that off. Push it back. And then redo it. Like, that's. You do. It's, this whole thing is like basically trial and error. So I don't know why it is on. Okay. That seems a little bit more even to me. So that is how you make. You can just make the finishing touches on it. And you can definitely paint it a different color because I obviously don't want that guy. Like, I don't want him on the neon polish rack. Like, sure, he's awesome and whatever. I don't want him on the rack. So, that is what I made. I made my other one about mini wheat, and I didn't spray paint it because mini wheats are awesome. And once you put the nail polish on, you really cannot see. If you like the colors, and you can just like put cardboard parts, cardboard paper on the place you don't want. And so, let see, look at this. This is my polish rack that I made and this one I have extra so I need to put them on this larger one so I hope you enjoyed watching and you can definitely spray paint it and I definitely love to hear how this went for you guys thank you for watching so much have a good day like comment and subscribe bye